Hello, you are watching Brahipo Math Genius Riddle. The question is to find the sum of one square plus two square plus three square da 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 two plus forty seven square plus forty eight square plus forty nine square. Can you calculate the value? Pause the video and sum the items by yourself. While you are ready, keep watching the video to find the result. The question is to sum of the continuous number squares from one to forty-nine. You may know the formula for these operations, but now I ignored the formula. Let's find the interesting methods. I'm going to utilize quantity x plus y cubed formula. Quantity x plus y cubed equal to x cubed plus three times x square times y plus three times x times y square plus y cubed. Three times x square times y is our approach. Let's take a look. Quantity one plus zero cubed equal to one cubed. Develop this quantity become zero cubed plus three times zero square times one plus three times zero times one square plus one cubed. And the quantity one plus one cubed equal to two cubed equal to one cubed plus three times one square times one. Plus three times one times one square plus one cubed. Furthermore, generate quantity two plus one cubed equal to three cubed, and quantity three plus one cubed equal to four cubed. The developed items, as the video list, increase the number to quantity forty-seven plus one cubed. Equal to forty-eight cubed. Quantity forty-eight plus one cubed equal to forty-nine cubed, and uh, quantity forty-nine plus one cubed equal to fifty cubed. Fifty cubed equal to forty-nine cubed plus three times forty-nine square times one plus three times forty-nine times one square plus one cubed. Next step: sum of these equations. From one cubed, two cubed, three cubed to forty-nine cubed, and fifty cubed. I'm going to divide it several sections. The first sections check number cubed in both sides of equations. We easily eliminate some value of both sides of equations, such as one cubed, two cubed to forty-eight cubed, forty-nine cubed. Therefore, in left side of equations, it left item fifty cubed. Mark fifty cubed in left side of equations. Next, look at the three times lambda square times one items sections. It is in the right side of equations. Sum of these items become three times bracket zero square. Plus one square plus two square plus da 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 plus forty eight square plus forty nine square bracket. The item one square plus two square plus da 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 plus forty eight square plus forty nine square is a question that we want to find. Put the result into the right side of equations. Next, let's check. Three times continuous number times one square sections. Sum of these items it become three times bracket zero plus one plus two plus da 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 plus forty nine times one square. Utilize the formula for sum of continuous numbers for zero plus one plus two plus da 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 to forty nine. We get it equal to. Bracket one plus forty nine bracket times forty nine over two. Calculate the value. Then we have three times one two two five 
equal to 3675. Put 3675 into the right side of equations. The let's check the last one cubed items. Sum of this 51 cubed is equal to 50. Again, put 50 into the right side of equations. Then we move all the number to the left side. Then we have 50 cubed minus 3675 minus 50 equal to 3 times bracket. Zero square plus one square plus two square plus dot 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 plus forty eight square plus forty nine square bracket. Accurate the value become one two one two seventy five equal to three times our questions. Divide three both sides. The value for the question is four zero four two five. That's the sum of continuous lambda square value. Do you get the result? Hope you to enjoy the video. Thank you.